I don't remember how to make a video, but I have Cam Studio here, and I remember I used it before, and I can see it in my previous videos. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to go kind of fast. I may use some custom tools on accident. If there's anything I do you don't understand, feel free to ask below, and I will get you the source code and help you set up any custom tools that you want to use. I need to create a retention basin for stormwater that will hold 6151 cubic feet at a depth of less than or equal to one foot. And I've been told that it would be nice for it to be in the back of this lot. I look and I see the lot is 134 feet wide. There's a two foot high hill at this side of the lot. The water would really like to drain to the front of the lot out this point. But I'm supposed to put the basin in the back and I guess my client has negotiated with the county to do that. But the reviewers want me to at least put a finger on the basin to catch the water, all the water from the backyard. I need 6,100 cubic feet, so I'm going to divide that by 100 and get 60 feet that I'm going to try making some kind of a rectangle. Because of this hill, I'm going to need more slope on this side than I'll need on the back and on the bottom, on the south. So I think I will go perpendicular when I do that. So let's, I'm going to offset 8 feet to give me 4 feet to the top and 4 feet down to the bottom, 4 to 1 side slope, 1 foot deep. Then I'll offset it 60 feet. Then I'll draw that line perpendicular to the property line. Uh, I'm going to move that and offset it 8 feet. So we're doing the same thing on all sides. I'll offset this 8 feet. I don't have any layer control. Now I'll fill it then. Uh, with a radius of 2 to look pretty. I probably don't need to do that. I probably won't on my next iteration just to get the volume. And then I'm going to isolate them and use the join command. and I've got a polyline. Then I'll offset that four feet and I've got a little basin. I don't have any finger going toward the front but I've got a basin. I'm going to use the Civil 3D Basin Volume Stage Storage Tool and to do that I need to have elevations on the contours but I'm only going to put an elevation on one of them. I'll just say it's one feet because it's a one foot deep basin. Then I'll just do the stage storage, use conic and average from objects, and I'll say I want to do polylines, and uh, don't delete them. Well, we'll see what happens. I think it's going to delete them. Uh, I can undo. Select polylines. and I get 7463. So the basin is about 1300 feet too big so it might be about at 100 feet wide it might be about 10 feet too big. So let's shrink it about 8. Alright there we go 64 43, 
and uh, I'll write that down so that I can put that in my drainage report 6443 assuming that's what I want to go with now I'm gonna need a finger up at, towards the front and I need to figure out what my high water and bottom are. The ground elevation here if I hover I can see it's 80.8 80.75 75. So I'm going to make my high water elevation 80.7 I'm going to write that down and I need a finger going up to there at 80.7 so I'm gonna erase my top contour explode this and it turns out I did not need or want that arc on the edge and so I'm gonna fill it at zero then I will draw a line up to my fence I'm going to really push my luck here 80.7 okay I'm going to save them a lot of room they don't like these basins getting in the way of everything so now I've got what can become a feature line. This closed area can become a feature line at 80.79.6 or 79.7 and uh, the, this point of the end of this polyline can become 80.7 so let's create some feature lines from objects I'm gonna need a good nice closed polyline to do a projection grading it's always easiest that way so I'm just gonna make myself a little gap with the break command and draw myself another line like that just gives me something so that I've got a closed polyline I can do some grading, projection grading on, and there I've joined that polyline and now I can turn those into feature lines and I'll just use the selected entity and let's assign elevations to 79.7 79.7 Alright, now we can see uh, what, what site are these on? Let's put them on the FG site. Now they're on the FG site. If I say, I think I need to turn on my layer 0 to get my quick editor to work. That's interesting. It's still not working. I need to check the right site. Okay. Now we were now we're in business. 79.7 and let's go make this 80.7. And we've got a bottom here. What layer is it on? It's on the property line layer. So I didn't do a very good job. Let's use our box this time, our palette, and uh, just look for feet. And I'm going to set it to this FG warp and change these to that. Okay, I think we can just go ahead and grade this now. We're going to have a little more volume. Let's create grading. Just, let's just 
dive right in. It tells us we need a target surface, so we'll choose the topo. Now it wants us to do the grading group. Luckily, I've already created it. FG. It's already set to do automatic surface creation, so all I've got to do is pick the feature, the side, and hit return a few times. It's already set up to 4 to 1, and it should be done. It just did it. It didn't, the layers were off. Now, if I hover here, I've got an EG and an FG, but if I hover over here, there is no FG, and if I do a right click and say Object Viewer, and go to a nice pretty isometric view, there's a hole in the basin, which is real easy to fix. I just need to do a grading infill. And I can see this line highlight until I click. And then it quits highlighting, and I just hit return. Now if I do hover, I get an FG there. And if I do an object view, and pick a nice pretty isometric view, I have a basin. Very nice. With a, with a finger. Very nice. Okay. Now, we already know, oh, whew, ah, see, I, I am a, was a little too aggressive, I got my basin too low, and my cut slopes extend beyond my property line, it actually was lower than I planned, wasn't it, it went beyond a lot of these lines. I can raise it up a little bit, but then I'd have fill here, and I wouldn't catch the water I want to catch. So, I'm going to have to go back through the loop, offset it a little bit more from all the property lines, and do it again. But that would be repetitive and take up more time, and I've already been repetitive enough. Hopefully I can edit this video a little bit. Thank you.